how to add video to your Shopify product page. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add videos into your Shopify products. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now there are a couple of ways to do that. So I'm going to go over a few of them, right? The few easy ones. There are some difficult ones where you have to create some meta fields, do a little bit of coding, but we'll see whether or not we have some time to go over them. But yeah, so the quickest and easiest way to upload videos is to add it into your media files or add it to your media file section, right? So for example, if we come over here onto the products, right? Let's say this is the product that we wanted to add a video to, right? The easiest way is to add the media right here. Click on media, right? And then just simply click on add media and upload your videos. If you go with this method, it will tell you to go ahead and purchase the plan because otherwise you won't be able to upload any videos. So click on it and then just select the media that you want. Click on the video that you want to upload and you should be good to go. But you have to make sure that the video is under 10 minutes and is under one gigabyte in size. And you also have to make sure that you have purchased the plan. Otherwise, it won't work, right? That's one way and the simplest way to upload media or, well, upload a video to your product pages. All right. So now that I have a video, I'm going to go ahead and upload it. So let's say over here, right? This classic jacket. If I wanted to upload the video, I'll click on insert image and then click on add image, right? And then I'll just select the video. So we'll just select the image, right? Upload the other shirts as well, or the other videos. And once it's done uploading, I can just simply go ahead and select that. So give it a couple of seconds. It's processing. And now we just simply select the file and click on done. So now we have a product video as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and save this and open up the product in a product template and we can see that, right? So now if I just go back, actually, I'll just open up the online store section in another tab so that we don't have to go back and forth. We'll just switch tabs and then I'll just go ahead and open it up and click on customize and show you guys. All right. So now that we have the product right here, open it up and this is how it looks. Now here, the video plays out something like this, right? It's okay. It's not that great, but you know, it gets the job done, you know, showcasing the product, swearing. It's a little bit different than the one here, but that's the only video I could find. I want to change it into something else. So for that, you click on product info right here and actually click over here and then it'll open up over here on the right hand side, which has all the main options. What I would like to do is I would like to change the layout into thumbnails with carousel. This is actually much better right it's much more cleaner it'll showcase a video something like this it looks really good so that's one way to add a video to the product page right within the product section that's one of the easiest way to do that the other way is to embed the video within the product description so again i'm going to open up over here for this one you just simply click on insert video over here and insert the video by pasting the embedded snippet in the box right so keep that in mind so let's say you have a snippet for the video i'm gonna go over here onto youtube like this video right here right we'll just copy it open it up right and then we'll click on share and click on embed and then just copy this whole thing copy it go back to your product page and then click on insert video and paste the embedded snippet in the box and click on insert video and now you have a video right here now this, in my opinion, doesn't look cool, but you can nonetheless do this. So, for example, if I come back over here, I'll reload this page, this section right here. And this is how it would look like, right? It should appear right here. Wait, did I save? Maybe I didn't. There we go. So, it had a little bit of trouble loading, it, but we can see it right here. So, the video would look something like this. In my opinion, it's okay if you want to do this. You know, it's your choice but in my opinion it doesn't look that great in my opinion this one is the perfect method you know just open the video in the uh, description but for this one of course you have to go ahead and purchase the plan of course you know totally depends on you but before i show that before i show you the other method there's another easier method that you can do i don't actually like this one but it is something that you can do if you come over here on the left hand side click on add section you'll find that there is a video section right here so here you can go ahead and add a video of your choice but with this one it'll just be a youtube video you can't input your own custom video you just gotta put in a link right so specifically a youtube link so use a youtube or a vimeo url so 
yeah, you can do that. It's actually very similar to this one. Again, I don't really like that method. Another cool thing that you can do is you can click on custom liquid and add the custom liquid section. Where is it? Add the custom liquid section and here just post in the code, right? The snippet. And this will allow you to have the video right here, but uh, make sure that the video that you are posting, right? It has a higher resolution. So for this one, as you can see, the width is only 350. So make sure to increase it you know like that but you know i actually did it separate so let me just go ahead and do that 1920 by 1080 that is the width and that is the height so that looks much better so make sure that your video that you are actually you know embedding over here is actually of that resolution otherwise it won't work but yeah that's another thing that you can do but there is another way which is called embedding so adding meta fields using meta fields options so let me just show you how you can do that now why would you need to add that meta field for example with this one right with this method here when we do this or we add this section right here what this will do is it'll add this video all over the product section all over the templates that have the default template option so any product that is using the default product template will have something similar to this one so we don't need that we want to have custom options so for that it is important to add meta fields so let me just show you i'm going to actually delete this video from the description so that you know let me just go ahead and there we go click on save now that we've gotten rid of that to add the meta fields let's go back we usually find them right here underneath meta fields right here as you can see so click on view all you would find them here but uh, you need to go ahead and click on settings and go into custom data and here you will find the meta fields over here so here you can add your first meta field object you know whatever you want click on add definition here make sure you add the name so we'll just say video or custom video you can add the description and then click on add meta fields and here just select the meta fields that we want and there we go i just added in the fields i just added the uh multi-line text usually this would be used for paragraphing or whatever but i thought it would look good so now that that's done you're going to click on done we've added the meta fields now if we go back actually into the product section go back scroll down we will find the meta fields right here let me reload and see over here we should have Sorry, I accidentally created the meta object definition, not the meta field. Sorry, I misread that. Sorry, they changed it some things now. But anyway, to create the product meta fields, we're going to come over here underneath custom data and click on products right underneath meta field definition. We're going to click on product. Here we're going to find the product over here, the meta fields. And here we're going to click on add definition. And here we're going to name it video, right? There we go. Custom dot video. This is going to be the name space and key. Don't change this. And in the description, I'll just say for YouTube and over here, I'll select multi-line text. Don't worry about it. Any of this, don't worry about filling it just simply click on save and now we have a meta field now if we go back to the product section and we scroll down here we have the product meta field and here you just simply go ahead and copy the code and then go back over here and paste it and click on save and you should have something over here as you can see let me just reload it and now that we have added the code within the meta fields now we can go ahead and add it now in order to output that we need to go back over here and click on custom liquid and instead of all this entire code i'm just simply going to delete this save it so that you know it's gone there we go now here you need to type in a simple code which is going to be two curly brackets space and then over here we're going to close that as well and then within it we're going to type in our code it's not a whole lot of code it's a very simple code and it's very simple it's basically product dot meta fields dot custom dot video dot value all right dot custom video is going to be the name key that you have added within creating meta fields but yeah once you've done that you can save and then you can go ahead and add some other options like you know make sure that the entire section or well the size of the video is actually according to that of the resolution so that it fills out but yeah these were a couple of ways that you can add you know videos within the product section i personally like the first one it's simple it's easy it's nothing too crazy so yeah but yeah this is how you do it this is how you add videos into your product section so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye